Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how to enable D-Shot 600 on the Fly Egg uh, 100 and 130 series. Uh, this, this is the 130 and this will also work on the Fly Egg 100. It comes with a Pico BLX target board, but the board is based on the Pico BLX. It's not an exact copy. So it doesn't really... There is a way to enable D-Shot 600 on the Pico BLX, but it doesn't work for this board. And so I'm going to show you what I did. The, the instructions you see online a lot of places for the regular Pico BLX only works for motor 1 and not motor 4. And so let me first show you some, some of the rewiring that I did here. The pins here on the uh, towards the bottom of the screen here are the motor wires plus the 5 volt and ground for that powers the flight controller. And uh, the pin to the right here the little yellow cable on it is motor 1 and one over here on the left is motor 4. So in the instructions online you'll see that to enable motor 1 to spin on under DSHOT 600 you have to connect motor 1 to the PPM pin and that wire goes underneath here to the other side over here which you can't really see so I'm going to put a photo up here of what that pin looks like. It's the one to the furthest to the right next to the screw here. So then once you do that and you enable DSHOT 600 in the configurator, um, you have to then go into CLI and type in some resource commands. I think it's resource uh, motor uh, 1 goes to where the PPM resource was at. So I think, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what it is, I can't remember, but I'll put, a, I'll put all the commands up here in a little box when I figure it out. So you'll see it on the screen here. Um, but you have to basically swap the PPM and disable the PPM uh, output on on that resource and then send that over to motor 1 which means that if your receiver is connected to a PPM which in my case it was the original FlySky receiver was in here was a PPM receiver or was wired to PPM I switched it over to the SBUS pin which you have to do if you want this mod to work you have to connect the re uh, receiver to uh, uh, the SBUS pin. I, I don't know uh, if the FreeSky or the other versions are connected to PPM or SBUS. Regardless, if it's your, if whatever receiver you have is connected to PPM, it won't work. It, this this mod won't work if you are if your receiver is on PPM. You have to move it over to SBUS, and also change your wiring on the receiver to SBUS as well. So that's the only way this will work. And then once I did all that, then I realized well, motor one was spinning because originally only two and three were spinning. One and four were not spinning. So motor one was spinning, but then motor four was not spinning. And then I realized I went through the resource list and for whatever reason motor 4 needed a, 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 what, it's called a DMA resource it's kind of complicated, it's hard to explain so in order to, to get motor 4 to spin you have to re rewire the f motor 4 output to the LED pin which is see this little uh, yellow cable here that's looping these two pins here that pin right there used to be connected to the LED uh, strip in the back here so you have to disable LED strip and, dis and disconnected it. So I disconnect this and that's no longer functional. And then uh, you basically bridge the LED pin to the motor 4 output pin here. And then you go into the CLI and then whatever resource the LED, LED pin was using, you now send that, uh, remap that to the motor 4 pin or the motor 4 output. And so again I'll put all the commands up here that you have to put into the CLI. And then reboot your flight controller and then at that point uh, all the motors will spin under DSHOT 600. So you have, so one, you have to um, not use PPM for your receiver, and then two, you have to basically give up your LED strip. This um, I couldn't get to work without getting rid of LED strip. Now there might be a way to rewire it some other way, and still have your LED strip working. I wasn't able to figure it out, but doing those two things, I got all motor, all four motors to work, and it works great on DSHOT 600. So. I'm going to go ahead and I'll put a little uh, listing of all the little CLI commands you have to put into the um, flick controller to get this to work. And then I'll obviously you saw the photos for the wiring that you have to do to get the motors to all spin. So I hope that helps you guys out. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.